वेलकम टू आवर पार्ट सिक्स ऑफ थ्रेट हंड यूजिंग जुपिटर नोटबुक सेशन गाइज इन दिस पर्टिकुलर एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू लुक फॉर प्रिविलेज एस्कलेशन ओके एंड यूजिंग रिमोट डब्ल्यू एम आई एक्टिव स्क्रिप्ट इवेंट कंज्यूमर नाउ वाई इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड व्हाट इज आवर हाइपोथेसिस सो डब्ल्यू एम आई एक्टिव स्क्रिप्ट इवेंट कंज्यूमर इज वेरी मच लाइक independent of any windows library and stuff like that you can execute a predefined script in an arbitrary scripting language when a event is uh, delivered like for example running a script based on a event or even you can launch a arbitrary process in local system context when a event is delivered to it okay so that is the reason attacker tend to use this particular wmi active script to move laterally to your network okay so that is the reason we have developed this threat craft where threat actor can achieve remote code execution via using wmi eventing subscription okay so let us now go into our hunting mode and the first step obviously we will complete our initialization uh, the way we are keep on doing it we will do the data loading we have already a uh, dummy data that we are working on we will parse the data and then we will move to our data parsing section after that we will go for our hunting and we have our analytics section already built up we will look for uh almost 7 to 8 analytics in this particular area and let us see that now okay so our first analytics so first analytics we are looking for a creation of event consumer of script type okay which is basically nothing but windows event created event id 20 that we have seen in our past episode as well we are going to use the sysmon log and we are going to identify windows event id 20 now you see WMI consumer event has been created that means we can move on to our second analytics where we are trying to look for if any script has been executed or WMI subscription has been created um where it could be anything like a uh, vb script or stuff like that and we are going to utilize windows event id at this point of time and our event id is 5861 which is windows subscription event id creation okay Now if you notice the output over here it is also telling you the same thing which is Microsoft Windows WMI activity that means our two point of stage has been successful okay so uh, in our data set we are present we are having we user created WMI consumer and in our second in our same data set we have also WMI subscription also being created okay so now we will move on to our third analytics which is basically process creation event okay so we will look for a process creation event and we will try to look for the process this is created something by svc host and stuff like that okay so now if you see this particular area over here so you can very well see there is a scr c o n s dot e x e being created okay and which is a uh, image process and that is being created by svc host right so obviously it is suspicious because uh, w uh, w b e m under this directory this process being created and you need to look into it what is this process is all about now to look for that we will go for our fourth analytics where we will see process creation again the same thing but we will look for 4688 event id so that means we will look for any indicator that wmi script host as process this scrons dot created or not okay so now if you see the output over here so what is exactly thing we are doing we are looking for a new process that could be name as like scr cons we are looking into windows security event we are going to look for windows event id 4688 that is process created process event right not a user initiated process and you see that is the same thing but you see the command line is embedding command line so that means at this point of time you are sure that there is a wmi being executed there is a process svc host.exe which is creating another suspicious process which is a embedding process okay so now to prove this particular hypothesis whether it is true positive we will move to our fifth analytics where we will try to look for process loading dll 
okay that is windows sysmon event id 7 and we will try to look for if the particular process is creating any dll or not okay so for looking into that particular reason if you see that what exactly we are trying to do we are trying to look for again windows event id 7 as i told you and we are going to see the image load in windows system 32 folder but these are my parameters okay why these are my parameters because i i know that this is my uh, suspicious process that has been created it could be vbscript.dll because that is a event of interest for me i want to see whether it has been created inside that or not again you know this particular thing uh, where it is my point of suspicion where wmi being created this is a ocx file that is being present on windows system 32 where wmi process gets created and this crun.dll generally gives you the notion um, if a process is directly loading a dll okay so that is our full intention to look for this particular process now if you see on this particular area obviously you will see that output there are a lot of image that is getting loaded over here right so you you had already known that so our image load since we have selected this particular area you will see all this particular area over here but what is the description guys and what is the process uid that is important so now wmi standard event consumer you got the point so wbem has created a scron something.exe which is a description of wmi you got the point here guys right so this is the same thing like vvs script as we have already uh, uh, calculated and pre-calculated this is again wmi scripting this is script host runtime library which might be using this particular sucker over here and this is another dll which is a script runtime so that means in this particular process in this particular query we can confirm that there is a wmi being created which is using which might be using vb script that is the reason it is creating microsoft script runtime and it is using runtime library to parse the data so in our further step so we will move on to our uh, sixth analytics so now in our sixth analytics it is quite complex guys okay so i am not going to explain this sql query to you guys but what is this analytics is trying to do over here look for any indicator that wmi script has processed as wbem scron.exe is being used okay so there are three notions by which we can do that one is process created process which is windows is mon event id 1 process connected to an ip which is windows event id 3 and another process process loading a dll which is windows event id 7 now we are going to do the inner join and we are going to use this particular analytics as same so that you know there could be a correlation between whatever we have done so far okay so this query gonna be big so i would request you to put the screen for a pause for a second and try to look for what is going on okay so you will be easily understandability you will easily understand what i am trying to up to right it is the quite same thing that i have done i have shown you in past like uh, in my previous command but I am trying to correlate in a single command this time right so now you see the outcome over here guys so you see this particular process over here it is trying to look for a destination IP address on a process that means it is trying to do some kind of C2 communication isn't it interesting so you will see that there is a WMI process which is trying to execute which is trying to load up some VB some VB script and now you see that it is trying to create a, a outbound as well right okay so now to move on to our uh, seventh so our sixth uh, what is this one okay so our analytics seven this time so now we are going to merge again with the same thing to identify whether this process is trying to go to lateral movement or not it is quite same thing we are trying to look for the network log on this time followed by process creation which is windows event id 1 
process loading a DLL, which is Windows Event ID 7, followed by user creating a host, which is 4624. Okay. Pause the video for a second and try to look for whether you are able to understand this query or not. Okay. Now you see, guys, what is the exact output at this particular area. So now this particular thing is quite giving you the target user name as well. So that means this particular user has used this particular process, whether we have seen in our previous comment, right? So previous uh, analytics, uh, there is a target destination machine. And this user is trying to brute force on that particular machine on that IP address, right? So there is a notion of doing the lateral movement, right? Using WMI script. So this is getting fascinated uh, as I move on and as I see the analytics section. Okay, so now we will see our last analytics to prove whether user has authenticated to that host or not. Okay, for doing that, we will just look for 4624 event ID and we will look for network logon type. And obviously, from my point of view, believe me that it should have this particular user, which is this PZ USTA VO should be able you will see that in a second it must have a network logon event okay so now let us see that particular uh, thing let me run it yes as i told you right so this particular user is a target name and this particular user has used this particular process right to do the network logon on this particular timestamp on that particular machine so that proves our hypothesis in a certain way that wmi is being created wmi has been loaded and wmi is creating a lateral movement for this particular user right so i hope you have understood how this privilege escalation thing is actually working and we are going to deep dive to the lateral movement section and we are going to identify that hey this particular user is up to something this user has loaded up a wmi and it is trying to now do the lateral movement so that's all for today's episode i will see you in the next one